Let us learn what is an ion. What is an ion? When we look at compounds such as sodium chloride, when we look at this compound, we see that is the two elements are combined. Out of these two elements, one is metal, other one is non-metal. So here, two elements. Which are those two elements? One is Na is sodium. Na is sodium and Cl is chlorine. Sodium is a metal. Chlorine is a non-metal. When a compound, when a compound which is formed out of a metal and non-metal, it will be, it will be having a compound, a compound which is composed of a metal and a non-metal will be having charge, will have charge species. Will have charged species. The charged species are called ions. They are called ions. So I'll make you understand now. Okay, let us take sodium. Sodium is a metal. The sodium is a metal and this will contain, it will be having positive charge. This is positively charged and this. When it gets this charge, we call this cation. We call this cation. Okay. Then our C here is minus and it is negatively charged. As it is negatively charged, we call this anion. Now, well, from where did it get that uh, charge? Why some? Why sodium is got plus? Why chlorine is getting uh, negative charge? So let us see that. So let us see how it is formed. See, I told you that is uh, the elements, the atoms, atoms they don't exist independently except for few. So when we talk about these noble gases, they exist independently. That's why they are monoatomic. All the other elements, they exist as either a molecule of an element or a molecule of a compound. So why they form the compound? The reason is that they want to be stable like the noble gases. You know the noble gases. Noble gases, they are the stable elements. They don't take part in any of the chemical reaction. So here, so here what we have to learn here is, we should know something called atomic number of the elements. I just give you one or two to make you understand. So you know what is atomic number? What is atomic number? It is the number of protons. It is the number of protons. What is protons? You know, right? Atoms have three fundamental particles that is protons, electrons and neutrons, right? Protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged and neutrons are neutral, doesn't have any charge. So, we have so many elements in our uh, nature as well as the periodic table, you know, there are around 118 elements are there. So, how to identify from each element from other, how to identify from each other, it is based on the atomic number. Atomic number is nothing but number of protons, okay. So now, for example, if I take sodium, sodium has 11, 11, atomic number of sodium is 11, okay. You remember in the standard we learned that uh, electronic distribution, right, electron distribution or electronic configuration. So we learned that K, L, M, N shell. Right? So when we distribute this electron, we know that it is distributed as 2, 8, 1. So all the elements, all the elements try to become stable. How they become stable? If in their outer motion, if it is in the outer motion, if they get 8 electron or we say octet configuration. Octet configuration or duplet configuration then they become stable 
Okay, so they are waiting to give become stable. Now, in case of sodium, see, outermost it has only one electron. If it gives out this one electron, it becomes stable because outermost then in the outermost shell it will become eight electron. So it will be waiting to give off that electron. Now. Let us take chlorine. So chlorine is 17. Atomic number of chlorine is 17. So it will be 287. 287. Okay. 287. Now look at this chlorine. So in the outermost shell it has only it has 7 electrons. If it gets one more electron it will become stable. Now these sodium, the sodium and chlorine will come to an agreement. It says I'll give up one electron, you take the electron and we will stay together. So that's how it becomes sodium chloride compound. So when it gives out this one electron, if it gives out one electron, then we don't call the sodium atom, then we call it sodium ion because it has lost one electron and it has become positively charged particle. As well as it becomes soft, uh, positively charged, it is a cation. It is a cation. Okay. And here it has accepted the electron. As it has accepted the electron, it becomes negatively charged. Okay. That is anion. Okay. So now it is sodium ion and this is chloride ion. So that is what ions are. Ions are compounds. When compounds which are composed of metals and non-metals which will be having the charged species. It will have the charged species. Then we call it ion. So sodium plus Cl. So sodium 2, 8, 1. Chlorine is 2, 8, 7. They combine and they form Na Na plus Cl minus. Now, when it is Na Na, now it is Na, so it will be 2A. Sodium ion now. Because plus charge is there. So it is sodium ion. And chlorine is now it has 288. So it is chloride ion. Okay. Now we understand what is cation and what is anion. Cations are positively charged particle. Anions are negatively charged particle. So they become positive because the one which is giving off electron will become positively charged. Okay, that's why it's called cation. Negative, they become negative when they accept the electron. So that is about positive ion, that is cation. Negative ion, that is anion. So here sodium and I write plus, it means it gives only one electron. So potassium also gives one electron. Magnesium gives up two electrons because you know very well the atomic number of magnesium is 12. So it will be 282. So it has to give up that two electrons. So as it gives up two electrons, that's why we write 2 plus. Calcium also same thing. It is 2882. Okay, 20, 2882, right? Outermost is 2. So it will give off that 2. Okay, so it becomes 2 plus. Zinc also same thing, gives a 2 electron and coming to aluminium, it is 283, atomic number of aluminium is 13. Okay, so for timing, just learn like this only. Okay, next is coming to the non-metal. All the metals will be positively charged or they will be cation and all the non-metals will be negatively charged or it is called anion. That is chloride, bromide, iodide, oxide and sulfur. So this is chloride ion, chloride, bromide, iodide, oxide and sulfide ions. Okay, so these are ions. So let us see how to write a formula. How we write different, I mean, formula.
problem here of different compounds. Okay. See, before going, we should learn about valency also. You know what is valency? Valency is the combining capacity of an element. Combining capacity of an element. We have learned it in eighth standard, right? So let us start with sodium only, just for you to understand. You know what is sodium atomic number? It is two eight one. Okay. So what is the valency? How to find out valency? We have to know the number of electrons present in the outermost shell. The number of electrons. The number of electrons. Which are present in the outermost shell, which are present in the outermost shell, in the outermost shell is called is called valence electron. It's called valence electrons. Okay. So it's called valence electron. So here it has only one. So what is the valency of sodium? Valency of sodium will be one. Valency will be one. So we should know that. Okay. We should know the atomic number and also the valence electron. Then we can find out the valency. Now tell me for aluminium. Aluminium is thirteen. So two eight three. So what is the valence electron? What is the valence electron? Valence electron are the electrons which are present in the outermost shell. So this is the valence electron. How many are there? Three are there. So what is the valency? What is the valency of aluminium? It will be three. Valency is three. Same way, let me write for magnesium. So when we talk about magnesium, so it is two a two. Atomic number of magnesium is twelve. Valence electron is two, right? So what is the valency? Valency is two, right? So let us see some non-metals. So let us take chl chlorine. Chlorine is two a seven. So when it is like this, what we have to do? We have to minus uh, seven from eight. Why eight? Eight is the octave configuration. So for non-metals, what we do? We take that eight, that is octave configuration eight, and minus seven from it. So what we get is one. So what is the valency of chlorine? Chlorine is seven. One chlorine is one. Same thing. Let us do for oxygen. Oxygen atomic number of oxygen is eight. So two six. Oxygen atomic number is eight. So when we put the electronic uh, configuration, we get two one six. Outermost is six. So what we do? We take this eight, that is octet configuration eight, and we are minusing this six. And how much? So what is the valency of oxygen? 